I was uh, like a um, crypto user and then um, I started to research a little bit more into the technology when I saw a little bit more the value of the of how, what Web3 like uh, actually offers. We live in a wor world where trust can be a problem and um, and can be also targeted or misused um, for the public and it's all good. I think that Web3 is um, the kind of thing that it becomes a, a buzzword. The problem is that um, you need to really understand, I think, a little bit more what are the values of, uh, of Web3. This is not only about uh, blockchain and uh, it's more. In the case of Polkadot, is a good example because, of course, Polkadot is a blockchain, but uh, it's pioneering Web3 because you have something that is more than that. You know, you have the decentralized treasury, it's something that can be really autonomous. Uh, you have the governance um, and you have, uh, of course, like uh, the way of accessing the blockchain in a decentralized way, not only through like centralized uh, endpoints like RPCs. So I think it's, it's a lot of stuff together. And I think people often, uh, they don't have the full picture and they claim they are Web3, but maybe they are not really Web3, right? Like me, I would say call to Polkadot because uh, it's very interesting from the tech perspective. You never get bored, right? You have always something to learn. The Polkadot community, it's uh, awesome. It's like, uh, it's good to see that there are like different nationalities and that there are different kind of group. I like to travel a lot to different events and I see like a very, yeah, very strong local communities. Um, they're very passionate about, uh, about Polkadot. They really care about uh, people wanting to learn and they want to explain stuff. And uh, I see a lot of passion in, uh, in these communities. It's, it's nice. Yeah, it's inspiring.